Emiratu Kanu is going to become a multiple Grand Slam champion and her future is going to be incredible says former British men's number one, Greg Rustsky, the broadcaster would also like to see Australian Darren Cahill become her next coach, saying he's got the pedigree. Just enjoy the journey. Don't put too much expectation on yourself because it's going to take time with this transition. Former British men's number one Greg Rustsky feels it could take teenage sensation Emma Raducanu between 9 and 18 months to adjust to the spotlight, expectation and demands but says her future is going to be incredible. The 18-year-old from Kent announced herself on the grandest stage when she claimed the US Open title as a qualifier in September. Victory saw her become the first British woman to win a singles Grand Slam since Virginia Wade at Wimbledon in 1977, as well as break into the world's top 25 having started the year ranked 345. Radu Kanu only recorded her maiden win on the WTA Tour at the Transylvania Open last week, where she reached the quarter-finals, but Rustsky believes she is destined to become a superstar. Speaking to Sky Sports, Rustsky said, I think she's going to be a multiple Grand Slam champion. I think she has the potential to be a world number one. What she has done in her first two majors, there's very few that have done. She got to the fourth round of Wimbledon in her first major and then she's gone on to win the US Open. There's only three other female players that have got to the fourth round or better in both events in their first two majors. Chris Evert, who was world number one and multiple slam winner, Jennifer Capriati, world number one and multiple slam winner, and Monica Seles, so she joins that category of elite superstars. We've never seen this in the game before, for someone to come through qualifying and go on to win a major, so her future is going to be exceptional so long as she can stay healthy, put the right team around her. I think her future is going to be incredible. Radu Kanu is searching for a new coach with the young Briton currently working with Esteban Carril on a temporary basis. The Spaniard played a huge role in masterminding Johanna Conta's rise up the rankings. Carril might be favorite for the role but Rustsky would like to see Darren Cahill, the former coach of Andre Agassi and Simona Halep, take the job. However, former world number no. 4 Rustsky admits it would be difficult to prize the Australian away from his home comforts. I think she's had some great coaches throughout her career and throughout her development as a player, he said. When she got to the fourth round at Wimbledon she had one of the best coaches in the business in Nigel Sears. From there she moved on to Andrew Richardson who she won the US Open with, which was a phenomenal result. And even Esteban, he's a world-class coach. Let's not forget he took Joe Conta into the world's top ten and when they were together they won the Miami Open so it's going to be interesting to see who she appoints at the end of the season. There's a lot of talk about Darren Cahill, so if she could tie up with that sort of coach on a long-term basis, I think that would be a great thing. But she's got to find the right mix and the right person for herself. Rustsky continued, Darren has got to want to do the job. He's got his television work he enjoys doing. He's got his family and he's living in Australia these days so you've got to find a way to convince him to take it. In a recent interview with Sky Sports, Marco Spackdatis said Radu Kanu must keep on learning and evolving with the next few years key to her tennis development and to help ensure her extraordinary surge is far from a flash in the pan. Backdata's statement is something former US Open finalist Rustsky completely agrees with. If you look at the great champions, every year they improve they get better and they put in the work and time, said Rustsky. They're also smart at what they do out there and have good people around them. Knowing Darren, he'd want a long-term commitment and that's something you look for as a coach. He's got the pedigree, he's got the CV, and he's done it all in tennis so he'd be probably at the top of the list. We expect Emma to be out there for at least another decade, enjoying her tennis career and enjoying her win a lot of tennis tournaments. Greg Rustsky will be playing in the Champions Tennis at the Royal Albert Hall, the finale of the ADP Champions Tour, between November 25th to 28th.
Well, I think she's going to be a, a multiple Grand Slam champion. I think she has the potential to be a world number one. What she's done in her first two majors, there's very few players that have done, you know, she got to the fourth round of Wimbledon on her first major, and then she went on to win the U.S. Open. There's only three other players in their first two majors that have got to the fourth round or better in both events. Chris Everett, who was world number one in multiple slam winner. Jennifer Crapriotti, world number one in multiple slam winner. And Monica Sella. So she joins that category of elite superstars. And we've never seen this in the game before. Someone come through qualifying to go on to win a major. So her future is going to be exceptional if she can stay healthy, put the right team around her. I think her future is going to be incredible. Well, I, I think she's had some great, great coaches throughout her career and throughout her development as a player. And when she got to the fourth round of Wimbledon, she had one of the best coaches in the business, uh, Nigel Sears, who'd worked with many top 10 women's players, probably the um, most well-known um, coach in the women's game. From there, she moved on to Andrew Richardson, who she won the U.S. Open with. So that was a phenomenal result. It's something that's incredible. And now even Esteban, he, he's a world-class coach. Let's not forget, he worked with Joe Conta, took her to top 10 in the world. Um, when they were together, they won their biggest event, which was Miami, the Master Series event, which was incredible. So it's going to be interesting to see who she appoints at the end of the season. I mean, there's a lot of talk about possibly Darren Cahill, who worked with Simona Halep, uh, former world number one. He worked with Andre Agassi as well, and one of the best in the business. So if she could tie up with that sort of coach um, from a long-term basis, I think that would be a great thing. But she's got to find the right mix and the right person for herself. Do you think Darren Cahill could be the right one for her? Well, if he wants to do the job, that's the problem. You know, he's got his television work he enjoys doing. He's got his family. He's living in Australia these days. So, you know, you've got to find a way to convince him to take it. And, and knowing Darren, he'd want a long-term commitment. And, uh, you know, that's something you look for as a coach. He's got the pedigree. He's got the CV. He's done it all in tennis. So, uh, you know, he'd be probably the top of the list.